Here is the Judy Judy side view from my door, my back door. And that's how I'm capable to work on it all the time. I just have to step out the house and there it is. We'll go on board and show the interior. The light is such I can't see what I'm taking, but it should be fairly visible. While I'm here, here is the generator. It is an 8 kilowatt generator. Get down that may show, show a little bit better of it. Come around and here is the starboard engine. The port engine is identical to the starboard in every respect. Uh, 110 volt uh, plugs are everywhere on this boat, really. They're going inside, get back so you see this is the entrance, the refrigerator and wet locker. And here is the helm. Two depth indicators, two VHF radios, uh, quite a lot of redundant equipment in here. I'm getting into the seat and I'm now going to show how there is a 360 degree view of everything. And I'm switching a little to telephoto there so that the windows are... This is where I do all of my sailing. I dock it and I leave the dock at this point. And... Uh, all right, now we're back out. We'll go down now into the starboard quarter berth. Uh, full length mirror here that the ladies all like. Uh, climb down here. Now this is a two drawer file cabinet. All of those files there involving uh, equipment on the boat. I keep everything along that line. A freezer refrigerator goes to minus 8 degrees or as a regular refrigerator or the different setting. Uh, there is the uh, propane on and off control and also alarm. And a panel box for this side of the boat. There's the hatch that I installed. There are windows behind all of the curtains. In here I've split the curtain a little bit to show that it is there and the outside picture showed you where the windows were. And it's a little crowded in here but I will lean back and there is a hatch that I installed in here. And there is another hatch that I installed in the head. Very, very good in the head. You'll appreciate that. That's the hot water heater. The mirror here is reflecting what's uh, the doors behind me, which I will turn around. And here, this window, is, as you can see, is full width of the head, and it's the windows and the uh, quarter berths are the same. Now we come around to the dressing area. This is a full-size closet. Next to it are drawers. On the left are cabinets. And we proceed back to the starboard master stateroom. I have the door to a closet open there. And the life jacket goes, and there's one on the other side. Identical. This, this is a mirror image of the one on the other side. And this is the bed. Up to the closet. What do we have? Okay, there's a fan and a light over there. That's a uh, vent for heating air conditioning from the air conditioning units. And we come across and we have a uh, light up here. And a fan, of course. Let me step back just a little bit and get another view of the bed. It is a full size. You can see, pretty good size. And the uh, port when we get over there is a mirror image of this one. And let's
let's go back now. Come around. Here's the stateroom. Underneath the table, there is a ice maker, and on the right, there, and on the left is a cooler that we keep uh, pop and uh, cans and water bottles and whatever in some additional space for the refrigerator is saved that way. Here is the navigation table. And my light is making it hard for me to see what I'm doing here, but there's a GPS down here along with the radio and there is a panel box for instruments that are at the helm. And let's that GPS is convenient with children on board or even guests who like to see what's going on and keep them away from the helm and not let them play with a helm GPS. Now, I will, let's get the four burner stove and oven. We have here a sink with extra fine filter and ultraviolet light faucet that's on the, the little crook on the left then the regular main faucet which has uh, hot and, the hot and cold based on which side of the boat comes from hot is over on the starboard side and cold is on the port and without the heater going they're both obviously cold but the uh, sink has all of the water on the boat available to it uh, 110 and let's see, we got the microwave over here. And now we come into this stateroom, which is, I, and then open up this door to show you that it's a similar closet, a blue life jacket here. They're oversized jackets, that's why they're kept down here. And let's see here. I'll put some handles in here because I had a 90 year old for the father who liked to have handles let's see what we came up here and there's two there's uh two over here yeah there's the other one and of course additional the uh, uh air conditioning duct is in here along with the fan and another light and the hatch of course the ro system is underneath the floor here uh, not in an engine room like many people put it. That keeps it a little uh, easier to work with. And it works on 12 volt. And I've done it when I was out sailing on occasion. We also have another propane on and off control. And alarm for the propane that's over in the port hall. Come around and get into the head here. This is the port head. Uh, I might comment on the fact that uh, there's 110 plugs in both heads. Convenient for electric shavers or whatever, hair, hair dryers. And let's see here. And this is the port quarter berth. There's the hatch for it. Uh, these cushions are normally outside when we're underway, and the four seats here, two black ones and two blue ones, are normally up on the bow. Here is the main panel box, and the controls for the generator are here to start, stop, and instruments. Let's see, there's a closet behind this one, and there are cabinets behind this one. And there's an air conditioning duct coming into this quarter berth. Didn't have one on the starboard quarter berth. That's why I put the hatch in and the porthole. Okay. That takes you through the boat. I try to show everything possible. And we'll go back out and I'll go back to the stern of the boat for closing off. Let's say, let me turn around here and get a view into the cabin again from this area.
binoculars that are another pair of out here in addition to the ones inside by the helm. Ah. Okay. Ooh, I cannot see what I'm taking pictures of. But and the the blue there is covering uh, windows, keeping them uh, cooler in the summer and keeping people from looking in if when you don't want them looking in. And I shall go back to the stern of the boat to end this by showing the end. And I'm having to see where I'm walking along my seawall to keep from falling in. And there, this may be an amateur routine, but at least you know it wasn't uh, any trick photography. <laughs>